Hey everyone, it's Amber and I am back with another sketchbook tour video. I just finished up this sketchbook. I started it in late January and ended it right in the beginning of May. So another one that I tried to finish within a couple months. So here's just the cover. Again, I put some stickers on it. This is the Crescent Render sketchbook. Um, I think it has 96 pages and it's the eight and a half by 11 size. So, uh, this is the first page I did. I just did like a simple meet the artist. This um, kind of like challenge or meme or whatever you want to call it was going around and I just had to do it. It looked so much fun and I had a lot of fun doing it. It's really fun doing like goofy self portraits and like drawing stuff on my desk and I don't know. It was really fun. I really liked it. I want to do these like more often and kind of like keep them updated. So, um, The first like set of pages I did um, kind of like Frank inspired stuff. The first one I did I just drew all of the merch that I had. I wanted to do like an illustrated collection of all of my Frank merch and so this was really really fun. Um, especially like drawing the t-shirts. And then this page um, was like some sketches from the joyriding video just because I haven't drawn that in a while. I don't know. It was fun. This page was inspired by Hesitant Alien, um, Gerard Way's album, and just wanted to do something really like spacey and dreamy and fun and I don't usually do a lot of like um, typography or any lettering work so I did that here and it was really fun. These pages I did at a local indoor garden. It's a really nice place to escape to in the winter and it's really relaxing to draw like plants and like fish and it was just a really nice time. I had a, a really relaxing time doing these pages and they weren't all done like at once. Like I would sit somewhere and I did this little part and I sat somewhere and then I did these and just kind of collaged it all together to make an interesting sketchbook page. This was a self-portrait I did, um, kind of coming into the end of January. And then this is a little like self-portrait kind of comic about going to the comic book store um, based on pretty, pretty much true events. I don't think I've ever bought a stack that high. I think I would empty my bank account, but it's, it's the idea. It's the idea. I would do that if I could. Um, this is a page I did of Frank, and this one I actually did based on an old drawing. Um, I wanted to see kind of how my style had evolved, and so I just looked at the same picture and drew it, and then I compared it um, side to side with the old drawing I did, and it was really interesting to see. I've changed a lot since when I drew that picture. I think it was maybe a year or two years apart. I think it was two years apart that I did them. Um, I think I did the other one in 2015. And it was really interesting to see, but I do really like the way this page turned out. I think it's one of my favorites in this book. And then this page was a little Mother Panic sketch. It was a comic book I've been reading and just really liked the overall like aesthetic and some of the elements in the story um, I thought were pretty cool. This page I did right after I saw 21 Pilots Live again. Um, they just have such a cool live show and like their visuals for the show were just so inspiring and just kick-ass. I really liked this floral thing that they did, so this page was kind of inspired by that. I don't do a lot of 21 Pilots stuff anymore, but right after seeing them I was like, okay, I've just got to draw like something. So I'm actually really happy with this one. That was a fun, that was a fun little drawing. And then this is just a page of Gerard with teal roots, just that's really about it. I just like that color and I love the teal roots look. At the time my own hair I had done to look pretty much like that, so I'm a big fan. This is probably one of my favorite pages in this entire sketchbook. I have a speed drawing video of this up on my channel too. Um, just like drawing my favorite person with my favorite color and yeah, I just I just love this drawing. I love the textures in it and yeah, this is gotta be one of my favorites. This opposite page I just did more of like a simple sketch with just one color marker 
just to kind of fill up the page. I didn't really want to compete with this because I liked it so much. So I did a little boozy too. After that, I did some studies of Frank's old guitar, Pansy. I don't draw a lot of instruments, I realized, and I really wanted to change that. So um, yeah, started drawing some guitar guitars here. And then these were just some images I saw from the new Marc Jacobs campaign. Well, it was new at the time um, that I really liked. I just loved this dress and wanted to draw it. So I actually really like this page. I used like an older marker and I just love that super, super pale kind of rose color with black and white. I think it looks really cool. This page was an early concept for what would later become my parachutes zine that I made for Frank. Um, so this was inspired by the song Oceans, and it was more of just like a sketch and kind of like a concept I wanted to work through, but this kind of came back later for the final drawing that it ended up being. So that's kind of cool to see like a super, super early version of that before I even knew I was going to do it. And then this was just a page I did as kind of like warm-up drawings. So they're like some of my mutuals on Tumblr and just tag me in pictures to draw. So that was fun. Uh, these are some little like studies from Shade the Changing Girl. That was a comic I was reading. And then this was a little like self-portrait comic comic I made about like depression and like getting excited about things. Um, yeah. And then this one is just a drawing of Mikey from MCR. Very like Danger Days vibe. I like this kind of like stoplight color palette in this. Thought that would be fun to do. Here were my first concepts for my parachute scene um, that I made for Frank. This page was just kind of like a hodgepodge. I messed up a drawing down here and then I just like did a sketch and then I was like drawing like a meme up there and then I ended up just covering it in hand studies because I just felt like drawing hands. It's fun. I like this one. I think that turned out pretty cool. This was a self-portrait page. I just liked my outfit that day. It's really about it. I just liked my outfit and then I'm like, oh, I want to draw this guitar and I feel like drawing an owl and I just wanted to like do a warm-up page of just whatever. It has no meaning. Um, this page I did of Gerard and I don't like the way this page turned out. I ended up like deleting it on Tumblr and I don't know. I just didn't like it. It just didn't work for me. I really like the way I drew the tank top and the, the way I drew the hair, but that's about it. There was something away in the way the face turned out and the shading with the colored pencils that I just didn't, I just didn't really like. I wanted to try using colored pencils a little bit more, but this combo just wasn't the right, wasn't right for me. So it was a good learning experience though. This is probably one of my favorite pages. Um, these are some like hesitant alien era Gerard drawings and I wanted to, them to have kind of like this comic book influence because I'd been reading a lot of comic books um, around the time that I drew these and I was just kind of inspired by like these blocked in colors so like the whole figure in this pink with the black outlines and then the shadows in one color and I ended up doing these two pinks and I just I just love it I love pink I don't know I'm really happy with this and then this page I just did a little Frank drawing in green because I never use green enough. These are just some sketches. Another uh, just sketch that I just kind of liked the way it looked like that. I didn't feel like inking it or coloring it in or anything. So These are some landscape studies that I did just from some pictures I found on Pinterest or Tumblr or wherever. Um, I think it's good to just do some like landscapes every once in a while. Once you're kind of like in the swing of doing people, you got to like break it up a little bit. So I really like this one I did of this like gas station. Another drawing of Frank, the like, I don't know if you can see it, but like when you do the marker over this type of pen, it like creates this weird green like reflection. So I don't know, this kind of turned out weird, but I don't know, it's okay. I kind of like it. And then just a page of some knives, just because I felt like it, something easy to draw. These are back at that um, garden again. Um, just wanted to like play with some interesting color palettes that I hadn't done before. And I actually really like both of them. I love this red and the pink together. 
Um, these are some little like self-portrait kind of comics I did. This one is about my relationship with Green Day over the years and this one is about um, <laughs> global warming. <laughs> and um, this page is just a little Gerard sketch again and the photo actually kind of cropped here so that's why I just filled in everything with black. I did not do a very good job mapping it out. If I would have thought about it more I would have just made it bigger and cropped it to the side of the pages but sometimes I just don't think that far ahead and I just it just ends up being like that. Here's another Gerard, just kind of like a quicker sketch and then a little sketch um, of some characters from Doom Patrol that I really like. Some more Doom Patrol sketches. I just love this series. I love the art in it and the characters and just really everything about it. I, I totally love it. I should even draw more like fan art of it, I think. And then this was like a sketch page from Lana Del Rey's new music, well, new at the time, again. Um, her music video for Love. I love Lana Del Rey, and I thought the video was like really aesthetically interesting. I wanted to to draw some some scenes from it, so that was fun. These are just two like pretty simple gouache um, paint lyric pages. They're just some like Frank lyrics from his first album. Um, this was a self-portrait I did. I did like this gouache background and then I did my ink pen over it and then some white gel pen over it. And I think it has like a really interesting like texture going on with it. I don't know, I really like this. I need to try it more because um, I'm just really into the texture. And then here's another comic, um, kind of like a comic about depression showers. This page is Lynn from Paris. I wanted to play with like that gouache again. And then this black was an acrylic paint that I wanted to try out. I wasn't super impressed with it right away, but then I kind of figured out how to use it more, so. Um, these are some sketches that I did while waiting with a friend in a hospital room. I wasn't sick, she was, but I stayed with her all day and it was like eight hours in the same room. And so I had these post-its in my purse and I just ended up drawing the stuff in the room for something to pass the time. But I kind of like them. I think they have kind of a cool quality to it. This was just like a 15 minute sketch that I did. The sketch never got finished, just happens. This is the only page that I didn't finish. With my last one, there was only one page that didn't get finished. So I feel proud of that. These two pages are probably my favorite pages in the whole sketchbook. Um, this one is of Ray from My Chemical Romance, kind of like a Danger Days inspired drawing. I, I just love this drawing. I'm so happy with it. I just, I love everything about it. I just wanted to add a lot of texture and a lot of color and have it be really interesting. And yeah, this is one of my favorite drawings in this book, I think. And then this one is Grimes. Um, I just loved that picture and wanted to draw it really bad but add something like a little bit more interesting to it. So I added like all this different kind of texture and there's like, I feel like there's a lot of movement in this picture, which I really like. Um, I did this one on a live stream too. That was really fun. I love doing live streams on Instagram. Um, make sure you follow me on there cause I do them from time to time. And I don't know, I always just have such a good time doing them. These drawings I did on my birthday and I think I did a live stream of both of them. Um, they're really fun. This is Lynn from Paris again. I draw her a lot um, Just because she's super fun to draw in black and white. I feel like her aesthetic is very black and white um, And then this is a mother panic drawing that I did with just like some different elements kind of from the story Here's some more mother panic sketches just kind of whatever this one I tried to bring back that colored pencil with the marker and like do some shadows with the colored pencil and I just still wasn't really, I just still wasn't really into it. I don't know. I'm still figuring out how to use colored pencils in the way that I like them, but I like a lot of the textures I have in this. This page I really like. I like the color palette a lot. I wanted to do um, something that had this bright pink and the red and this picture actually had a lot of those colors in it. Um, so I don't know, I really, I really like this one. Um, 
And then the second one, I wanted to do like some different colors. Like, oh, like what if I added yellow in it? And then I'm like, eh, I don't, I don't like it as much. But I really like this one. So this is a drawing of Lindsay that I did, and I wanted to try like this different style where like I drew in the figure just using all one color and then using just black lines over it. And I think it has like a really cool effect. I didn't really finish it because I didn't know what to do with it but it was more of just like a practice or like a warm up. But I do really like this drawing and I love that color. I love yellow and black together, if you haven't already noticed. Um, then this page, again, bringing back the colored pencils, wasn't ready to give up yet. Um, I did really like kind of some of the transparent effects that the colored pencil has here. Um, and then this was just like a different color palette than I usually use, but I kind of like it. I don't know, it was just, I don't know. I don't know. These are some color studies, so I just like took a picture off of like Pinterest or somewhere and did it in a couple different um, color palettes just to kind of explore like the mood of color. And same with this one. So like the drawing isn't super tight, but it's not really for the drawing. It's just kind of for practice of playing with different color palettes. This was a drawing that I did of my amp. Um, I just really wanted to draw it. I love looking at it. I think it just looks really cool. It has a cool shape. There's a lot of cool, like, <laughs> it's cool. How many times can I say cool on this page? <laughs> I don't know. I like the color palette and um, it was just kind of like a fun warm up to do. I don't do a lot of objects, but that's something I'd like to draw more of. Um, then this one is a drawing of Grimes from her music video, um, Flesh Without Blood. I've watched that music video like 800 times. I'm just obsessed with the costumes and the aesthetic and the song itself and just everything about it. It's probably my favorite music video of all time. Um, but I just, I love this look and I'm actually really happy with this page. Um, I don't know, I really like this one. This is a sketch of Lydia Ainsworth. She's like an electronic songwriter and singer and I really liked her new album so I wanted to draw the cover of it and so that was kind of fun. Um, this one was just some practice with gouache. I don't like the way it turned out at all, but it was fun to just like play around with different textures and seeing how gouache worked with ink and I don't know, just kind of a practice page. This page I did, um, I went to a Russian folk orchestra concert and I was sitting like up on the balcony and I wanted to draw like what I saw. So these people were sitting in front of me Here's like the balcony, here's the people like down there, and then that's the like view of the stage I had. And so I did this in probably like over the course of two hours while I was watching it. Um, and then these are just kind of some more like more gestural drawings I did of like the conductor and um, some musicians and stuff. This is another one of my favorite spreads in the book, I think. Um, these are some magnolia blossoms that I did based on a photo that I took. Um, I wanted to like capture the different shadows with this blue because it was like a really blue light on this white flower and I thought it was really cool. And I really like this like kind of yellow ochre color with it. I don't know. I've been really into this color. I've been, I've been into it. And then this was a uh, self-portrait. So this is actually the outfit that I wore um, to that orchestra show. and. I just felt like I looked really, really goth and like it says, I'm definitely the most goth person here. And I don't know if you, dr if you dress like this in any way, you're just, you'll understand. <laughs> I don't know. It was fun though. I got some compliments on my, on my tights. So these are some concept drawings of a character I'm developing. She's a ghost dog. So. Um, I toned the background on this one with black and then painted with white gouache over it to kind of create this like transparent -y, ghosty effect. And then these ones were just like regular drawing and I just did the black around it. This is a sketch of ALB in Wonderland. I just, I love her. That's, that's about it. Yep, I love her. And then these are some drawings of a hearse and I just... I don't know, I realized that I never draw any vehicles and <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to draw some cars and so the first thing I thought, I'm like, let's draw a hearse. 
So it's actually gonna be part of like something I'm working on later, but I had a lot of fun doing these sketches. And then this is just a sketch of like a little church. Um, these are kind of just like some concept kind of sketches for something later. And then this is a drawing of Gerard. Um, I just got like a bunch of new colors, color markers and I wanted to try them out, so I just threw them all into this, so that was fun. These are some character concepts, so kind of developing this character, and I can't tell you much about it yet because I don't just really know much about it yet or what it's going to be, but yeah, just kind of playing around. Um, here's a drawing of Joan Jett, just like a little quick sketch and then um, a drawing of Luke Skywalker because I just rewatched Star Wars and I always forget how in love with Star Wars I am until I watch it again and I'm like oh my god I love Luke Skywalker I love him he's the best here are some revenge Gerards I'm just I'm never over this look I always want to draw it I just I love it I love it um, and then this is a self-portrait I did um, I actually really like this drawing. I really like the red background and the red with the blue and black. Like, that's just like one of my favorite color palettes and I had a lot of fun with it. And it doesn't exactly, like, totally look like me. I don't know, I could have spent longer on the drawing, but I do really like this page. These are some sketches of some plants that I have on my desk. Um, plants that I have not killed. So an air plant, um, a cactus, and an aloe vera plant. These are some sketches of some people's guitars. I asked some of my followers on Tumblr to send me pictures of their instruments so I could draw them. It's like I said earlier, I wanted to get better at drawing guitars, so I love the way this one turned out. This is a little sketch I've wanted to do for a while, just like my top five favorite hair colors I've ever done. So I did this really quick, like, little self portraity thing, and I don't know, that was really fun and just kind of, like, silly. And then this is a drawing of Grace Neutral. It was just on her Instagram, and I liked it, and I wanted to draw it in, like, these two yellow tones, so... I don't know, it's kind of cool. I like it. She liked it on Instagram, so that was pretty sweet. These are some drawings of Grimes. Eventually, I want to draw, like... Grimes in every one of her music videos because they all just have such a different aesthetic and I'm just obsessed with it. So this one's from the Venus Fly music video and this one I did using just marker and colored pencil but I used the colored pencil like as my line art and I really like this. I think this turned out cool. And then same with this one. I did the background is in gouache, the pink is marker, and then the black is just like a black colored pencil. And I really like the effect this one has. I think it has some really cool texture. Um, this is a little, another Doom Patrol sketch of one of the characters that I just love. I love his colors and just, ah, oh, it's so cute. I just, I love it. Um, this is like a little page of April favorites. I just wanted to do like a square for Instagram and just draw all my little like favorite things for that month. So like some different music and um, like these shorts, which I'm actually wearing right now. So they're just still my favorite. Um, like spring flowers, mac and cheese, just some funny stuff, so. This is another one of my favorite pages, like favorite page spreads in the book. Um, this is from the newest Paris music video, which was just like aesthetically beautiful and just super awesome. And what I did with these is I experimented with this, like, it was actually a calligraphy pen, but when you get it wet, it like, separates really weird and creates like this light blue and then this kind of pink it like the black ink separates so it's really like experimental and you don't really know what's going to happen with it so that was really fun and i really love the way these turned out they have like a really neat like effect to them and a lot of texture and i don't know i really really like these and then we've come to the last page which is just a drawing of um that ghost dog character again and I just wanted something like really simple to just end my book so I didn't have to like think about it and just kind of be done for it. So that is the end of my sketchbook. Um, again, this is the Crescent Render sketchbook and this was from the end of January to the beginning of May. So 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't seen my previous sketchbook tour video, I'll put a link to it here um, so you can check that out. But otherwise, keep watch for the next one, I guess. Um, I'll definitely do some other videos in the meantime. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.